Jag sa det. Men från det boys. Jag ska ta det. Hello everyone. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> It's Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dave's just in from the clubs. He's gonna probably go out again after this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I've still got me, uh, still got my shorts on, and my uh, disco whistle is down here somewhere. <laughs> still got the stamp on your hand in case you need to get stamp, back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, I'm, uh, I'm too old for all that shit now, mate. I'm, uh, no. I'll be, oh, I'll, I'll be in bed by half twelve tonight, killed up <laughs> on my own, unfortunately. But I'll be in bed by half twelve. <laughs> Yeah, sleep in till 12. Oh, that's the plan. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> you lucky git. Hey, Josh, how are you? Nice to see you here. Hey, Josh, you all right, mate? All right, what are we doing? Paddy's here. Good evening, Paddy. Nice to see you. Nice to see Dave here. Dave never left here, I don't think. <laughs> I've moved in now. I'm not living on the Isle of Man anymore. <laughs> at least it's just in that little square on my screen. I'm just in the other room. This is all green screen. This <laughs> <laughs> you're in the illusion. <laughs> hey friends, yeah, I'm all right. I was until Dave turned up. I was hoping, oh, maybe, oh yeah, yeah, a good solo one without him. Oh, you don't mean that? <laughs> no, I don't. I'd be lost without you. Oh, that's what that's what I want to hear. <laughs> You say all the way. <laughs> well, of doing? course, we're doing June Claude Van Damme because that's the only important thing happening this month. That's right. So let's crack on mm-hmm. and run VT. You let me know when it's good. So, what are you watching it on? Some fancy disc? I'm actually watching it on uh, Amazon Prime. No? Oh, you don't have a physical copy of this? I do, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> I opened it up today and I'm like, uh, where's the DVD gone? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I've just, I've, just, I've rented it. So, there you go. It's all right. Oh, thanks for putting up for the expense on this. Oh, no, you're welcome. Anything for you, Gareth. I'm sure it was only about a pound. It was actually £3.50 or something to rent. Oh, well, yeah. Well, it's, it's worth it. Oh, well, you're worth it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm worth £3.50. Nice. <laughs> So yeah, I um, well, this opening shot is reminiscent of Enter the Dragon, apparently. Yeah, very much so. Which we have done. Oh God, actually, I put Enter the Dragon on. I thought it was. <laughs> oh, see, <laughs> it's well, it's got Bolo Young in it, so <laughs> it'll do. Just leave it on. Same movie. Ah, what's Josh been watching? Wrath of Becky. Ah, better than I thought it would be. I don't know that one. I know of Becky and the uh, psycho 12-year-old, but I don't know of Wrath of Becky unless it's the sequel that's come out already. Yeah, I still need to watch that um, Becky one. That's the guy from uh, King of Queens, in, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. I believe. Yeah, I still need to watch that, actually. I've, I've heard decent things, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Second unit directed by the legend that is Vic Armstrong. The... Who doubled for Superman, Christopher Reeve, and Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford back in the eighties? I didn't know that. See, you learn something new. You learn. This is what I like about my channel. It's educating. I do the research, and my guests just sit there learning stuff. I feel feel like I'm a student. (laughs) Lucky students take my tax money. Hey, Bob. Nice to see you. Hey, Bob, mate. You're right now because it's Vic Armstrong's brother. That is the guy that gets killed at the beginning. Right. Yeah. The one on, <laughs> that looks like Vic Armstrong. Of course, you know him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, two Van Dams for the price of one in. Well, let's see. This says. What are you saying? This says 1991. Mm. Okay. Right. So, where am I going with this? This came out in America in. August 9th, 1991. Okay. So when did we get it? Well, I would have stayed in 91, but bringing this up in Amazon Prime, it's actually got 1992 on it. Oh, so, blast that cheat. So I'm going to have a guess and say we probably got this 
oh, I, I would say January 1992. Yeah, bloody cheat. Yes, January yeah. 31st. Get in there. I think mean, that's the first one I've ever got right. <laughs> I think it is. I think, <laughs> I think I've got this. Uh, yeah, I saw it in the cinema, I guess, that week, because I don't think it lasted long. Directed, written and directed, well, co-written by Van Damme and Sheldon Lettage, directed by Sheldon Lettage, who I have spoken to. Were you, were you um, old enough to watch this at the time? <laughs> no, I was obviously 10, <laughs> getting into an 18 certificate film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't even sneak in. Fuck off. Well, let's see. No, oh, Johnny. <laughs> Yeah, I was 18. <laughs> it's okay, mate. It's okay. Right, have, when's the last time you watched this? Oh, that's a, a while ago, mate. Oh, a while ago. Okay. I watched, um, I did before, I went on YouTube and watched like the best parts of Double Impact before to kind of like <laughs> the fight scenes and stuff. Yeah, the best bits is an hour and 49 minutes. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> it is. <laughs> But yeah, it's been a while, but I used to watch it a lot back as a day as a kid. It was always like one of the go to videotapes I'd always used to like grab and <laughs> put on yes. along with like ugh, probably nearly every other fan. I went through a stage of really loving Fan Dam when I was younger, like like all of his movies. I'd just watch I just watched a lot of gentlemen did. Yeah. So I just liked his um it was quite unique, it was like his fighting style on film. You just kind of like never seen that before you know i used to just love how he used to do his big spinning kicks and i used to try and do them as a kid and fail miserably without, <laughs> but without, yeah without, did you know i couldn't get off the ground. term double impact comes from do you i'll become sexual with this now <laughs> that's where your head went but i'm not <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the only place that ever goes mate. um no i, I don't know it's because um, it's a term that I think it was Van Damme used for stuff like in uh, Bloodsport when he kicks people twice in the same shot and use, just reusing the same image. They just doubled the shot, so they called it the double impact. And then they thought this is a better name for this film. Well, it's probably, what, what was it going to be called originally? Do you know? I think it's one of them was the Corsican Brothers because it started out as a canon film. Right. But apparently oh, the, the canon brothers canon. didn't like Van Damme. Right, okay. <laughs> it's not a kind of film. It was going to be, but then uh, they wanted. They didn't li like Van Damme, and then he tried to get out. Of, he had a three picture deal with them, so they tried to get out of it. He tried to get out of it, so they said fine. And then he did Bloodsport for them, and that was a massive success. And they wanted him back, but he was already off. Well, didn't they do? I think um, he did three of them. I'm pretty sure Cyborg was a kind of movie as well. Cyborg is there, yeah. So he's under contract for three. No, I'm trying to think. Death, not that one. It's one of the early ones. Cyborg's the other one. Was, was oh, Death Love in it? No, probably no, because it's too tame for a canon movie. Nothing blows up. <laughs> Maybe a few things. <laughs> Maybe, it's quite yeah. violent for the time. There's a few squibs. And then, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what year this is supposed to be. I guess Van Damme is, the Van Dams are supposed to be in their mid-20s in this film. So this is supposed to be the 70s. Yeah, if it's set in, yeah. If it's obviously going to be set in modern day when it comes out, you could, yeah, you could probably say maybe late 60s, early yeah, 70s. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, Bolo Young is the only one to, well, and the main bad guy, to come back later in the film as older. <laughs> oh, look at this. My babies. What yeah. will happen to them? Bolo Young says, you'll never know. Boom. But we'll both he's both in this, apparently. His English wasn't very good, and <laughs> they wanted someone with a different voice. He's I mean, extremely intimidating looking, though, isn't he? He is. He's massive. He really is. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not like to bump into that guy at all. <laughs> so pretty Boy says, feel the impact, which is what I will be singing at the end, because obviously Dave doesn't know it. <laughs> it's a rap song, so you should be good at it. Oh, Van Damme. Oh. June Claude yeah. Van Damme is more important than The Flash and Dala Destiny. <laughs> yes, it is. And I'm going to wear, I'm going to watch The Flash tomorrow afternoon. Right. So I'm going to watch it next Saturday because I've got some time. So, yeah, we shall see. Well, I'm looking Van forward Damme to it. By Michael, Michael Fatal, it's a fatal Attraction, Black Rain, Basic Instinct, Ant Man, Jewel of the Nile Douglas. Yes, that's. I couldn't read the small print. But yeah, he did a few films where he's just producer 
And this is one of them. So thank you, Paddy. Jeff's here. What's up, Jeff? Oh, yeah, mate. Van Damme is one of the best actors. <laughs> Listen, he's, he got better, to be fair to him. As he, well, that's as one he of the things Cannon didn't like, that he wasn't a very good actor, but he was a martial artist first. So The thing is, in, in the earlier movies, he didn't, he didn't need to be, did he? Just show off his skill and his talent with what Exactly, that's why he had directors like Sheldon Lettage. Yeah. Who knew what he was capable of. And but weirdly enough... Strengths. Yeah, but weirdly enough, acting wise, I actually don't think he's too bad in this no. particular movie we're watching tonight. To be fair, yeah, because he's going to play like you know, obviously the two brothers, and I think he's better as is it Alex? That's the like the harder one. I think, I think that yeah. one's quite yeah. less than Chad. And I actually think he does. He does well. To be fair, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not just yeah. grease bag hair. They are a bit different. They are different. Yeah. But J V J C V D showed he was a real actor, so but he was yeah, he was he yeah, yeah. He was extremely good in that. All right, you're going twenty five years later. And I love him as a, he needed to play a bad guy more, I think. So it's expendable <laughs> too. I thought he was brilliant in that. Well then you've seen enemies closer. Oh then um, while we're looking at ladies, this is Julie Strain, who is from some of the Sidaris films, which is pretty obvious when this scene comes up. You can almost see everything. And then him touching her up in a... <laughs> all the fit ladies and the... He's got the best job. <laughs> and then he's showing off. Showing off his little splits. Ow! Right, come on, Jeff. Up, uh, Jeff. Dave, up you go. It's too late. Oh, you've got fucking no chance, mate. <laughs> <laughs> get some more wine down, you. I'll never get back up. <laughs> well, that's not important. The important bit is getting the lowest you can. Did you ever, as a kid, when you went to the swimming baths, did you accidentally ever do the splits in the... <laughs> well, not that bad, no, but yeah, I know what oh, you mean, because you slip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did once, mate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and I was more flexible back then as well. And it's still... <laughs> now, we've got a, a Cockney stuntman, a Cockney idiot in this. The guy with the... who's punching other <laughs> newbies. Yeah. But apparently this guy was the um, stunt double for Michael Keaton in Batman. So he wore the bat suit in Batman 89. Oh, right. Okay. And then he's doing a cockney here. I don't know if he is English. I presume so. Unless that was filmed in England. You know, if he's not, it's 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 not the worst. <laughs> it's no, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's annoying. So it's got it spot on if it's annoying. Well, I think the, the Batman movie was a lot of that was filmed in London, wasn't it? Yeah, in the studio. The majority of it, I think. Yeah, it probably is generally filmed. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, Francis, when's Mission Impossible coming out then? BMFI, my Max, that's massive. Next, it's got to be next month at some point, isn't oh, it? Oh, bloody hell! Oh, lovely. I have to make sure I'm not doing anything that now. Yeah, one one hundred percent. I love them movies. <laughs> yeah, Sean's yeah. here. Jump back and get ready because I'm gonna even the score. You thought I wouldn't be back for more. I'm gonna make you feel, 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 feel the impact of yourself. Feel, 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 feel the impact. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that in an hour and thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're on your own with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping in the subtitles. I'll just be in the background going. <laughs> <laughs> feel the impact. Feel the impact. I don't remember if I saw this in 92 or 93. I know I rented it. So, yeah, it would, probably would have been out to rent in 92, but yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I think I watched this around 92. Oh, shit. That's oh. 30, this is 32 years old now, this film. Bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> Best bit of the whole film. <laughs> the ending song. No, this is one of Van Damme's better ones. There are a lot of ending songs in his films, like Bloodsport and Kickboxer yeah. and all that. Even No Retreat, No Surrender just suddenly cuts to the end song. Mm. A... But yeah, there's a bit of a plot hole where we're, cause they're flying to Hong Kong yeah, to get back what they think is theirs, but they've got no evidence whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> who they are or what they are to do with the family, but then 
Jeffrey Lewis character says later on that it's just because of their gangsters, they'll just do it street style and <laughs> beat it out of them. <laughs> but why the hell not? <laughs> Gareth, would you ever wear pink shorts? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Flesh coloured. <laughs> if I if I could get away if I could look like Van Damme, I would I think I'd get away with pink. Oh shorts. yeah, look at the size of his bloody <laughs> thighs. They're solid. Exactly. Not just hanging around his an- neck uh, ankles. Like mine. I mean, I'm saying that I'm wearing pink shorts right now. You can't see. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll make you stand up in a minute. <laughs> oh, Francis, what? <laughs> do, you, yeah, do you think this will still be an 18 now? I know there's a lot of squib action. Because uh, I know they don't... Let's have a look. If it is actually it's been reduced, probably. It probably has gone down to a 50. Does it say on Amazon there? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll have a little look. Don't turn it off. I'll, I won't. <laughs> oh, no, it's still an 18. I'm still an 18, yeah. I'm too yeah. professional for that. Yeah, no, it is still an 18. I guess it's the sex scene. No, but it doesn't really. It's not graphic. <laughs> yeah, there must be something. I guess maybe it's the squibs. Yeah, or maybe they just don't care to go back and... <laughs> well, yeah, that is the other thing. they got a probably it's an effort to yeah, exactly. <laughs> redo it. It's like, it's not like the Universe of Soldier and Lionheart are brilliant films. There we go. That's it. We can agree on Lionheart. That's a A wall for us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I like that's my favorite Van Damme. Wrong bet, Leon, whatever you want. Oh, yeah. think Black Eagle was the other one. Ooh, I've, I remember watching that once <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah, that was the when I was tricked into. Oh, went to the video shop. Oh, Van Damme <laughs> front and center, <laughs> just like they do with the, and everything. No retreat, no surrender. But at least he's in that more. It's got I five like minutes. It. Oh, <laughs> is that a threat or a sexual no- <laughs> warning? <laughs> Don't to make promises you can't keep. <laughs> Mom. Yeah, I'll give you his address if you can make it to the Isle of Man. I'll, I'll see you down at the disco. <laughs> <laughs> Cyborg was an interesting movie to be made, to be honest. Basically, they made it because the check and bounce on Spider Man and E Man, yeah. <laughs> A lot of the uh, costumes they were going to use for Masters of the Universe. Yeah, I don't still understand how what wasteland was it? Earth was a wasteland, was it? Uh, wherever He Man is from was the wasteland. Oh, I've, I've got to be honest with you. I I, I love Cyborg. Like, I, love, <laughs> I know it's not great. I, I know, but I just I watched it a lot as a kid. I think that was one of the fun ones that I watched the most was actually Cyborg. Ah, hang on. Have I missed something? I thought I saw this bit coming up. Huge, big surprise. <laughs> Huge <laughs> surprise. Yeah, I'm just like... Ah, <laughs> oh, his gormous look. <laughs> he does that well. Yes, yeah. lots of toxic masculinity coming from the dodgy brother in this. Well, he's just about to drop the F-bomb about yeah. burning people on sticks in a minute, so... Uh... <laughs> look, dodgy brother. look like me. Look like me. <laughs> I would never wear silk underwear. Yeah. Look, a F word that only F- Dave can get away with. <laughs> I don't mean you say it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. All of Van Damme and Dolph. Oh, the Universal Soldiers. Yeah, because there's. Da, 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 da. Well, there's three, four, four Universal Soldiers, and then three of them were with Dolph Lundgren. There is, yeah. There was. Um, wasn't. Goldberg in one of them as well? Yes, he's in The Return. The Return, yeah. The second oh, okay. that doesn't have Dolph Lundgren. Right, okay. But that's Van Damme in, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 1999, yeah. he came back. Right, it's only okay. about an 80-minute movie as well. Yeah, I remember watching it like back in the day, probably when it came out on video. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I, I haven't seen it since. But I was never <laughs> really a... Um, I was never really a big fan of Universal Soldier. <gasps> To be on, I, yeah, I know. Out of Slinger. all the movies, it was the least one that I, I bothered like sticking back on. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's not black, not black eagle. I've just done a video on this. I can't remember which one it is. 
<laughs> Cyborg is one of the films, last films to be financed and distributed by Canon. Yeah, that's the trouble. With, you say a Canon film, but it doesn't. Yeah. There was films they financed. There's films they distributed. Then they did both. They did one or the other. They just had. They were the producers, but it wasn't a Canon film. It was just a mess. I thought, I, I thought for some reason that Death Warrant was part of Canon. I, I'm obviously wrong. Yes, you are. Don't make me look it up and prove me wrong. <laughs> Flash, I only watched because of Keaton's Batman, and it had a smile on my face. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad. I've heard, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Yeah, I've heard it's not the worst thing ever. Yeah. That was good. Peter Himes was the best director because he knew how to use him in Time Cop and Sudden Death. Yes, that's oh, the other so, director. I love Sudden Death. <laughs> it's great. Uh, no, Van Damme won't be in Expendables 4. He, well, unless he comes back as a brother in that one, because... His character was killed in the second one. Or a zombie. Yeah, nope. <laughs> zombie, yeah, that'd be good. Expendables versus zombies. Yes, the late, great what? Jeffy Lewis gives a <laughs> dependably reliable performance in this. Yeah, he is great in everything. He's Oh, he's solid actor, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, Salem's Law, Any Which Way But Loose, and you know, those Clint ones. Uh, July 14th, I still need to watch the rest of the Impossible Front. Uh, hang on. Oh, is that watch or rewatch the rest of the Impossible franchise? If you still <laughs> need to watch it all, mate, that, do it now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go do it now. Yeah. Um, Never surrender. I'll fight to survive. Our, yeah, it's the best end credit song. See. So here we go. Right. Here we are. When it comes to Death Warren, it was MGM that did it. Um, yeah, that might be the tr- yeah, one of them. I think it is MGM, but it. Is a canon film in America? I can't remember, or somewhere. Yeah, I don't think I'm, I'm not. Hey. Good evening, Val. Thank you. thank you again. Oh, hang on. I was going to say thank you again for the tapes, but then I see you're an Arsenal supporter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Mike's here, except he's got shitty internet. He's always got excuse. I do, Mike. You're right, mate. I met a man. Looking at Death Warren, David S. Goyer actually wrote it. Yes, that's it. This was, yeah. You should look at his resume for his early stuff. There's some weird stuff on there. I'm going to do it while, I'm, while, while, yeah. I'm oh, while we're watching the film. You just fucking read the internet. We'll just watch you. Uh, <laughs> Lesage and John Claude did some good together. Yeah, I love this film. Yeah, this one. Oh my God. He wrote Nick Fury, Agents of Shield. That's the one, the Hoff one. Yeah. Oh, I don't need to see anymore. <laughs> no, don't do. Well, he directed Blade Trinity. <laughs> so, oh, Freddy's got bad internet too. Yeah, I'm expecting a thunderstorm to knock me out tonight. Actually, yeah, I think we. Oh, oh, gold. Might... Well, a good and gold. Hey, Austin. Double impact is a fun one. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what the hell Van Damme's wearing here. This shirt is like with the. Fold yeah, on one of the brothers has uh, very questionable fashion choices. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I don't know what he's wearing now, but I know because yeah, I'm not sure. Because yeah, what was it? The separated birth one was dumped in a Hong Kong um... orphanage. Orphanage, yeah, thank you. And then the other one was taken to well, LA, but studied in France or something. <laughs> so that's why he's got the accent. I'm not yeah. sure what the other guy's accent's supposed yeah. to be. Then had the uh, had the better life, basically. He yeah, can wear, yeah, he can wear pink yeah. shorts and do the Dad comes from the Sean Connery school of accents. Just keep your own and say it's Irish. <laughs> well, David Lee, ah, oh, he died last year. He's the guy who doubled for Keaton's Batman. Ah, thank you, friends. He was also in Tang on Cash as the guy. Yeah, is that the guy that? Yeah. Ah, oh, right. Okay. He fights Stallone at the end. Yeah, I recognize him. Now. I couldn't recognize him. Until you mentioned him, then thank you. And while well, Kurt fights Brian James, uh, is he the one doing all the fucking high kicks all the time? I think so. That's the one in tank, yeah. Oh, God, I love I Cyborg as well. Don't worry, Dave. The sp- split kill he does with a knife is oh, awesome. Yeah, when, he's, when, he's just when, like there waiting, and you don't know what he's up to. And, and, and he's up against the two walls. Like, it's do you know what, right? I will. That is a terrific shot. Like. Perfect. I know the yeah. movie is great, but just that one shot of him is just yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, that's yeah. one. With me and Al are doing uh, Cyborg at the end of the month. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> you, you had the choice. <laughs> I went for Cyborg, if you remember, and it was taken. Oh, there you go. 
So you got so, in the head, you know, well done. Two weeks today. I'll look forward to that. I watched Universal Soldier of Return last year after dodging it for years. It wasn't that bad if you look at it as a standalone. Yeah, it makes yeah. no sense in the contents. The Yeah. But it's I've got a, the expert here tonight. What is a Unisol? Are they androids, cyborgs, enhanced, chemically muscular, what, super serums? Why are you asking me? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want them to be. <laughs> it, does, it does seem to be whatever fits the script's purpose. Exactly. Whatever fits the narrative. It is. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's a tough guy smoking a cigar. Yeah. But then they must have these Mercedes. They have the, they must be 80s Mercedes because they only take two shots to the petrol tank. They right. blow Even up, run yeah. in water. <laughs> Flash, be warned, it has a batshit opening. <laughs> okay. No oh, spoilers. I need no to watch the... Spoilers. Oh, the second, third, fourth, and fifth. And those things. So, oh, oh, that's Mission Impossible. I'll, I'll do you a favour. You don't have to watch the second one. Stop. You don't. Stop. You don't from yeah, if you watch the original, if you haven't already seen the original, skip two and then go three up. I see, yeah, you don't have to watch one... Two or three, because I guess it's only the four, five, six that really. It is the, the, third, the third one's really good. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, I like. I do like one, but it's not nothing like what they've turned it into now. Oh, is it? No, no, it's no one here. Pillow. No one here. Do, do you feel like as well with the Mission Impossible movies that they have generally actually gotten better as it's gone along? Like each <laughs> is the other yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love the first one, but yeah, like you said, the, I. I find it hard to get through the second one. It's like two and a quarter hours and it's a lot of slow mo. It's got some great stunts in it, but it's just the story and yeah. the overacting and it's painful. That line would not fly today. Yes, the one that D Dave wouldn't say. Nineteen ninety one was a good year for action movies. Yes, it was. Someone should make a video on that. That's not nice. Yeah. The <laughs> The heat will cause issues for many people's internet. Hey, yes, claps to all. Waves. Is that waves? Or, that's waves, that one. So, yeah, launching Mercedes into the bay. And do you know what's funny about this as well? It's like, apparently, this stops the police boat. There's so much ocean around it. Like, just. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's supposed to make it look like there's a gap about this yay yeah, big, but, but yeah, the but shot. There's one, there's one shot where it goes off, and you can clearly see, like, <laughs> Oh it's so much space. Stop picking holes in this film. I'm sure that's a homage to um, what's it from Russia with Love, which has the same issue. <laughs> We're boats in the sea. Surely we can go round the flame. We can't go round. No, we cannot turn. It's impossible. It's funny how both Van Dams have the, even though the twins got the same lump on their head. I guess it's yeah. They both got <laughs> they both got dropped as babies. <laughs> I guess yeah. I guess oh yeah. There's a frog killed live on screen here, and then they cook and eat it. So yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as well. Not not one for me. Thanks. David Oscar will be always be okay for co-writing Dark City, though I'm not sure how much of the finished script is. That's a trouble. If you read someone, it's they've got story credit or written by credit. It doesn't mean they wrote more than the line. They just got credited for it. So, who's the lady in this? I don't think you ever see her again in anything else, do you? She's been in a couple of things you might have heard of. But, yeah, this is one of her first big roles. I will say this, though. She's <laughs> not a very good actress. <laughs> and joining us in the group tonight... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I would mean, uh, if that would have happened. <laughs> would you? <laughs> Maybe she'd admit it. No, I would have been like, hey, I knew you were coming on. <laughs> just a bit of... Just a bit of fun. Well, Alona Shaw. What's she known for? This. This has only got 5.6 on IMDb. King of mm -hmm. New York with... Um, oh, well, that was before this. Cyborg Cop. And the Taking of Beverly Hills. Oh, Party Guest. So that doesn't count. Yeah. So basically nothing. Really. Yeah, she did a few things, but then 
didn't bother. Yeah. People fucking directors must have seen her work. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. Not. I think the Flash will be once the thing dies down, everyone will put it in the middle somewhere. I'll tell you what has surprised me though, because a lot of um, you must have had a screening for Indiana Jones not long ago. So there's a lot more reviews coming out on YouTube at the moment. And um, Chris Duck, do you know Chris Duck? Yeah, I saw that one. Um, I watched his just before, and it's made me a bit more positive <laughs> because he's he he's a massive Indiana Jones fan as well. And he yes, gave it, he's, he's made he fan of the film. It, yeah, he gave it a <laughs> preview. So there's hope for it. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, David. Yeah, that's when everyone rem- found out who David Edgar was. Yeah, it wasn't really his fault because Wesley no. Snipes didn't want to do the film. No, but he was the director. Unfortunately, like, uh, I think he wrote the second one as well. So, yeah, which is a good it's one. Like so. an interview with uh, Pat and Oswald, he turned around and said, "Put this in context. Even that, the, even, <laughs> even just the film being made and put together is a miracle." <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah. The fact we got a finished film with Blade character yeah. in it, not necessarily Wesley Snipes. Yeah, although. There's a lot of doubles in this one, but it's very well made that you don't think it, it's a double. I was, yeah, I was watching the, um, like I said, I watched the fight scene between the two brothers before, just on YouTube, and it is extremely well done considering, you know, it, for its but yeah, time. it only had a fifteen million dollar budget. Yeah, it's well directed. This movie. Oh, yeah. oh this guy, the gangster is, or is it this? Yeah. This gangster, he he's, plays a cop in Bloodsport because he used to be a cop. Right, okay. In real life. And then well, he plays he, a good bad guy in this, then. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. pretty good in this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jeffrey Lewis was also in Tango and Catch. Of course, he was uh, Stallone's captain or whatever he was. Oh, Jesus Thank Christ, you. yeah. Yes. <laughs> I forgot about that. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, cheers, Bob. He is. The weirdly, he's not credited in the film, though. He has a decent sized role in it. Yeah. Okay, he's not quite. I guess. I forgot he was. Uh, I've upset Bal. <laughs> no, you're right, Bal. I don't support any football team. So I'll support Arsenal for you. Up the Arsenal. I'll tell you what, Bal. I'll, I'll say this. I prefer Arsenal <laughs> <to> players. Go <laughs> with some <laughs> really Four friends again. Hi, Luke. Films <laughs> unboxing. Awesome films. See, everyone loves this one. Yeah. Welcome no, it's. it's it's one of the most popular ones that he's done, I think. Yeah, Blade Trinity is horrendous because whoever cast the big tough guy from Prison Breakers, Dracula, was obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never seen a vampire film with Dracula in before. I guess they were yeah. com- going for the complete opposite. And then they got this box with the cigars in, but it's still in pristine condition. Well, if they're ever going to cast Dracula, I mean, just catch fucking Triple H, the Adam there anyway, just make him Dracula. <laughs> he was there, wasn't he? He would have done a better job. <laughs> uh, I'm devastated on how, by how bad I was how bad well. Trinity when I saw it in the cinema. I haven't watched it since. I was as well. But I'm, I must it, admit, in that movie, one of the very few shining lights that movie does have, Ryan Reynolds is really funny. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, yes, 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 Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. His demo tape, isn't it? Yeah, but he's he's actually he's quite funny. Yeah, Parker Posey's good in it, and then it starts off well with a good idea that uh, was it one of those humans pretends to be a vampire, so Blade kills him, and then gets in trouble with the FBI. But then, yeah, they bring Dracula into it. Yeah. He didn't need to. No, he did. Yeah, it was a massive letdown. Considering considering how good the first two were as well. Yeah. You know. Oh, and now he's using the light and he just chucks it away. Because he's held on to it for 25 years and then suddenly it's no use, so he chucks it away. <laughs> yeah, watching this last night, I also picked up on the... Hang on. What's that word? F R W L Cribbin. Am I out of touch that much? No, because that's me and you. <laughs> me and you will be out of touch then. <laughs> uh, no, I'll come back to that. 
I saw it in theaters too, and that to myself. Oh, oh, that was this, it was weak source. It felt like a TV. Oh, oh, that Blade Trinity. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw it in cinema. I must have been oh, cool, another Blade film. Yeah, he is. He was actually the best actor in the film. He never had a bad mm -hmm. performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. He, he, made it, he made it watchable. Snipes was a nightmare, <laughs> yeah, to work with because you didn't want to come out of his trailer, so they just had to. You don't cut apparently you would only communicate with like notes to the director, and apparently he signed because it was on the Patton Oswald thing. He signed it as fucking Blade at the end. What a twat! Oh, yeah, he wanted to be known as Blade and referred yeah. to as Blade, and my fucking dickhead. <laughs> Just, uh, Bolo Young just kills one of his own henchmen just to show how tough he is. But yeah, Van Damme and Bolo were friends since Bloodsport. Yeah. He wanted him as the bad guy in this. Yeah. That uh, Bolo, there's been a, a couple of interviews I've watched of him and he praises Van Damme quite a lot, actually. <laughs> All right in the nuts. Mm. <laughs> and then there's the overacting. Yeah, they are snap. Thinking to myself. <sighs> Typo, yeah. My girlfriend in this was in King of New York with Christopher Walken. That's an extra film. That is an extra film. I don't think she has any dialogue, which is perhaps just as well. <laughs> oh, the girlfriend, not his girlfriend. Sorry. Yeah. It's late. I can't read for a start. They should have went with the vampire pop uh, apocalypse idea for Blade 3 and said, yeah, I bet they're kicking themselves down. Mm. Has it been over uh, 20 years now since the Blade film? The last one? I think it came out... Uh, did it come out in 2004? Mm. So, Sounds uh, about right. Mm. Wesley Snipes did not want to do the film because the script sucks and he's right. His behaviour on set didn't make the situation any better. Yeah, he could have made it better by doing it properly, but... At the end of the day, you've just got to fucking suck it up and be professional. Yeah. There's many <laughs> you know, terrible yeah. films made better by a good performance. Yeah. You're in and you're getting paid extremely well. Just Exactly. I guess you know, his awesome. third film. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of the filming they did uh, without pair permits in Hong Kong. They just set up, shot it, and ran. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered. Guerrilla-style old-school filming. Yeah. The best, the best type. That's how some of the best movies have been made. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Gore liked Dial of Destiny. He can say it's pretty honest and unbiased. Ah, okay. there you go. Another one, two. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, did, did, surprisingly, there's been a few that I actually... There is, yeah, there's been more so, for than a... Well, I guess it's probably middling now. Yeah. So it could go either way. Yeah. Jeffrey Lewis is in the lawn moment. Yes, he's is uh, he looks after the lawman at Jeff for Hay, doesn't he? I haven't seen that. Yeah, I haven't seen that for a long time. Bloody hell, yeah. The actress in this is in Cyborg Cop with Dave Bradley. There you go. Oh, David Bradley was oh your man in fucking American Ninja Three, wasn't he? Mm. Yeah, and then I think he's in Four as well. He comes is in back. Four. The, the American Ninja One and Two comes back. Yeah, the other both is together. But it's oh number four is so boring. <laughs> Considering they've got them two together, it, it's I, I think four's the worst one of the lot. Yeah, I can't remember. Not like these movies are absolute like kind of a pinnacle of cinema or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I do love like American Ninja one, one, two, and three. I do. I love them, but the fourth one is like it's not great. Dominic Passa, how to say it? Dominic Passa was a terrible Dracula. Yeah, <laughs> right. luckily he recovered from it. I'm sure you got paid well. Yeah. And then, ah, there you go. Bal's correct. Tia Carrera did read the script for this. Not sure why she didn't get the part. She was gorgeous and a better actress. That is true. 100%. Chad, correct. well, Van, no, Van Damme's Alex, character Alex, was supposed to have an Asian actress. So that's why they had going for Tia Carrera. But Van Damme wanted a blonde lady instead. Of course he did. <laughs> but as we know from. Showdown a little Tokyo Tia Korea doesn't do nude scenes. Shame in it. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a good body double though. She still from, oh, from Russia with love. See? Jesus. Well oh, thank you, Phil. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I knew that I was just testing Dave. 
<laughs> He's rubbish. Oh, there you go. The from Russia will love cribbing. There you go. That okay. makes sense now. I know exactly what I mean. I helped Dave Blade. Context. Hey, Russell. Blade, all three on DVD. I don't. What have I got them on? I got one and two on VHS. I don't think I own three. Oh, no, I do own it on DVD. I think oh. I have the trilogy on DVD. I I check on that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm going to test check now. Um, oh, sorry, Russell. How are you? Blade three was two thousand four. Actually, I don't know if I have Blade three now. It might be previously I had Blade three, and before I had to get rid of all, all my stuff. Christ, oh, I wish you was my girlfriend. I wouldn't care if I got splinters. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it clean. <laughs> yeah, don't you? I think yeah. Look, this is they got white doves in this. I don't know if it's yeah. a John Woo thing. I've only got the first blade on DVD. <gasps> yeah. True story. When I saw Blade Trinity in the cinema, I stormed out when the end credit hit the screen and left. Behind the DVD of Christmas Vacation, I bought in HMV beforehand. Uh, <laughs> just that not that, you must have been pissed. Yeah. Um, I watched Perfect Weapon last night. I really enjoyed it. Yes, Jeff Speakman uh, was actually a very good. It's a shame he didn't make it as a top action star as Paramount made Perfect Weapon. Yeah, it was one of his, supposed to be a big break film, but unfortunately it didn't make it. But it is actually a good film. I haven't yet. I, I haven't seen it. No, I hadn't seen it until a few years ago when Jason at Backtrack Cinema was doing a review of it. So I checked it out, and yeah, it was good. So it was good, was it? Yeah, yeah. He did a few films in the in the nineties. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, Treat Williams. Yes, Dead Heat is an awesome film. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, It was. Yeah. It yeah. Was... After all his serious safe stuff he's ever done. I <laughs> like him in Dead Heat, which is like 80 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It was, it was kind of strange that happened, uh, unfortunately, with Treat William passing away, because it was only it was only a few days ago that me and my mate watched uh, Deep Rising. We just had Deep oh, yeah. Rising on, and we thought, oh, go on, let's keep this on, because we haven't seen it for years. Yeah, it's great. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. But, yeah, yeah, it's a shame. Oh, yeah. Watch out, Nightbots here. You can't kill him. Yeah, Treat Williams passed away, yes, unfortunately. Was it last yeah. week? Or this yeah, week? I think it was a was it a motorcycle accident or something? Yeah, he was hit by a car off while on his motorbike. Yeah. Seventy one yeah. years old, bless him. Yeah. Yeah. Upgraded Blade to four K might get two if it gets a four K release, but Trinity can do one. I'm happy with just the DVD, yeah. <laughs> I probably will be the only one. Yeah. I know. Because I guess licensing. I don't know how they choose 4Ks because some deserve it more than others. Yeah. The beginning of Perfect Weapon is hilarious. Because <laughs> what? I can't remember the name of his style of Kung Fu now. I was going to say Tong Po, but that's the bad guy in <laughs> Gateboxer. <laughs> that's the bad guy in Gateboxer, isn't it? <laughs> It's something like that. It's so, yeah. It's all the same thing. It's fine. Maybe I'm drunk. Tomorrow I'll be sober, but it'll always be a... <laughs> oh, is that another one? <laughs> is that coming up? <laughs> a fool, I'm guessing that says. Play yeah. uh, Trinity yeah. doesn't even deserve a VHS. I'm not actually sure it got one. I guess 2004 will be on the uh, cusp of it. but Yeah, I don't even think you can get it on Blu-ray. Well, yeah, I suppose you could, actually. Oh, I was pissed. I even went back the next day to see if anyone handed it in. Like, sure they would have. <laughs> I bet one of the cleaners took it. Exactly, they would. Um, that's normally what happens. A decent film like that. Now, this scene in the uh, this warehouse shootout, mm. they didn't inform the locals that they were shooting and exploding stuff, so the police turned up. So he thought there was an actual fucking war going on. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. I'm sure they got away with it. Well, they obviously got away with it. Yeah. 
So yeah, this was a tricky shoot because yeah, they got Van Damme has to shoot a scene, run off and change, come back, <laughs> grease his hair back, and do, oh, and do the, the next always, scene. Yeah, I was always so that's how they. Did, I was always wondering how, like, how they would have scheduled Van Damme for this. You know, mm. yeah. Obviously, we're playing two characters and being in the same scene. Yeah, so they've got the stand and dressed as one character. Yeah. I suppose, I guess, two stand ins ready to go, maybe. Although, maybe the budget didn't require that and they just had one that had to change at the same time. Yeah, I suppose when they're doing that scene over the days, they would probably all get it done as quick. Well, yeah, done. It's a weird one. So, I don't know whether you would stick with one character and then like, <laughs> the other one. But when yeah, you're just film as much as they could in one location yeah. as one character and then. Do it all again. And just flip, yeah. Probably the easiest. Yeah. But like what I say, that? I think Van Damme did a, did a decent job. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see two characters there at least, yeah. so it's That's halfway the there. Uh, how's the weather there? Right, well, it's well, very humid. <laughs> yeah, it is at the moment. It's been a bit... Um, it's been a bit cloudy for us. It feels yeah, like... Yeah, we had some clouds today. It looked like it was going to rain, but it didn't. It feels like it is going to like just piss it down at some point. <laughs> it's going to be three days at least of rain, uh, which storm. I can't. So I'm going to go out like Shawshank Redemption, just standing <laughs> it like covered in shit. <laughs> hey, just be a normal Saturday night for me, Gareth. <laughs> the Isle of Man. <laughs> I might see. If I might see if Jim will join me. <laughs> The forecast keeps changing every day because last weekend was supposed to be thunderstorms. This weekend was supposed to be thunderstorms. Now yes. it's going to be scattered showers, and that's it. No thunderstorms. So it, there's no way of knowing. Hang on, what have we got? Well, Blade Trinity is on Blu-ray. Okay, they've made that effort. That's a, right. Okay. Well, we're we're forty percent rain at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> to like eighty nine percent to like four five. Six, I'm hoping eight. it does. Yeah, oh yeah, it, it needs to happen. <laughs> they got this stupid drug dealers that sneak up on one of them, oh, both of them, and shoot at them, miss, and then give them time to turn, jump around and shoot back, point blank. So there's a bit of John Woo gunplay in this bit because Chad's the bag, uh, badass. Yeah. In the punch. And then the piece. What's I'm saying? <laughs> Although he does know how to use martial arts as well, even though he spends much time shooting or headbutting. The tear career still looks great. Ah, I, I will do unspeakable things to her. Oh. You might not want to advertise that. Like like what? Take her off. <laughs> I don't want him being sending me drawings. Like, leave a comment below what you would do, and we'll we'll get it up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> <We'll> just... <laughs> deteriorating what's this Friday night business it's oh he's got the two guns out. except pointing in different directions shooting one mm -hmm. guy yeah the guys always have Uzis and shoot the drugs more than the people they're trying to shoot absolutely oh hang on I'd rather watch Blade Trinity than whatever wussy movie Disney ends up shooting out. oh that I can believe yeah 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 <laughs> They might come back. Let's trouble their own Fox now, which is a and Marvel and Star Wars and Indiana Jones and oh, he's doing the rolling on the floor shooting. There you go. That works out so well. I'm biased. I'm biased, but is anyone else getting this on Blu-ray from <laughs> 88 Films? Ah, it's being. Well, I'm probably going to have to now because I don't know where my DVD is. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there is. A lot of extras on that, I've heard. So that should be good. Oh, that's oh, cool. Then. So, yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> Why not? One Van Damme film nobody talks about is UFO. UFO? <laughs> is that the Roy Chubby Brown one? Just going to... Yeah. Just going to say. You, eh? I've never seen that. I know... Was it Dolph Lundgren's in Viz's Fat Slags? He's not. Really? I didn't see Van Damme turn up. I guess maybe I was looking acting, not as self. 
I love those films, but yeah, I yeah, remember those? UFO coming out. Oh, Bob, please. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it's writer, director. But <laughs> yeah, now you're mm. ringing a bell now. Ooh. The opening scene in Double Lift Pact is pretty brutal, and apparently some of the trims by the MPU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then, the yeah. blood squibs were not popular with the MPPA and the BBFC. And then we got a bit of explosion, see? I think, be um, I, think, um, I think it went back in, though, because it was pretty brutal on the uh, Amazon Prime version. I'm watching here, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Roy Charlie Brown. Oh, there is writer of UFO. Let's have a look. Bollocks. Come on. Yeah, UFO writer. <laughs> yeah, I remember that VHS. I never watched the film. <laughs> Sue's in it. Roger Lloyd Pack. Yeah. Sue Lloyd. Kenny Baker. Have you never watched it? I don't think I have, or maybe once. It's but. it's it's it. Oh, look at the end of the day. If if, if you find Roy Chubby Brown funny, you'll you'll find it funny. <laughs> then I won't, because my woke channel won't put up with anything like that. <laughs> I went to watch Roy, Roy Chubby Brown. Uh, Whoa! Like, don't say that on my channel. What day? I went to watch him five <laughs> times. <laughs> I watched him. Twice on the, I watched him twice on the Island. No, sorry, three times on the Island Man. <laughs> and, uh, uh, once in Blackpool. Makes and, sense. Yeah, once in Liverpool. Yes, yeah. I don't think he's been to Western Sydney for a while. He used to. But I think, yeah. he's, has he retired now? Or is he no, retired? he's still going. I guess he's not the doing as many is, now, maybe. Uh, the problem is some cancel uh, councils and stuff aren't allowing him to play in the towns and stuff. Yeah. And I doubt yeah. Western will have that issue. Yeah. It's an odd one, Bob. Yes, it is. <laughs> UFO. I don't see Van Damme referenced in it, though. Deep Rising is a great watch. Yes, it is. Uh, I pre Oh, Francis pre-ordered it. Looks like a port of that American release, which looks promising. Okay, great news. The guy in black talks like my late. <laughs> oh, <duh. laughs> okay. <laughs> is it you? Or Van Damme? <laughs> <laughs> Chad's in black, so I don't know. <laughs> How old is Bal? Uh, oh, Kempo, there you go. See, I was half right. <laughs> That's it. You were, you, you were close. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly on the mark. Yeah. Look, look at this lovely nightclub where people are, haven't been dancing for 10 hours while they film this. Mm. Yeah, do, do you look fed up? <laughs> yeah, I can see why they would have cut the mother being shot. You can see what her brain matter looks like in the later shots. Oh, a nice. Sweet. It's not very good. <laughs> Your first not very good. It, it, it is what it is. Oh. It's just a one for Chubby Brown, really. Yeah, I, I seem to remember celebrities being in it, but... There's none listed, so yeah. maybe they asked to be removed from the list. <laughs> Probably. Class of 1999. This is where I mess up with Class of 99. Oh, I love, class of, I love Class of 99. Which one is that? Is that where the teachers are androids? Yeah, there's three of them. Um, yeah. Yeah, one of them's Pam Greer. Yes. Um, now it's coming back. I always confuse it with other films like I forget Class of New from High and the... Uh, yeah. I forget what the other two were called, but um, I always remember that scene where it's like one of them grabs this kid and he just pulls him over his knee and he just starts like spanking him so hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen it for a long time, but yeah, it's a, a good movie. Yes. Deep Rising is fun and lots of memories, yes. And it even sets up a sequel at the end, but we never got. Which we never got, yeah. But yeah I do was... like Deep Rising, actually. It was fucking... It was... Yeah, Stephen good. Summers did what the mummy, mummy returns, Van Helsing. Mm. Uh, 
GI Joe. Like, yeah, I quite like Van Helsing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which if they did a role of like this or Roy Chubby Brown doing the splits or Van Damme doing blue stand up. I would pay a hundred pounds <laughs> to listen to Van Damme doing Roy Chubby Brown's fucking stand up on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he could probably do some jokes that wouldn't fly. Yeah, Deep Rising was a huge flop. Yes, it came and went in theaters. Yes, it was a huge flop. I think I saw it in the cinema. Yeah, I did. But yeah, I, mean, I watched it pretty, pretty late on actually. Now I'm gonna have to watch UFO. It's quite funny. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. Like that, that's what I mean. If you, I yeah. shall watch it, laugh at it, and then cancel it. Yeah. You should, oh, you should do a watch party of it. <laughs> <laughs> Read out some of the jokes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what, class of 84. Yeah, there's a, that's got Michael J. Fox in it, I think, isn't it? As this, oh, I don't know. About, I, don't know about, thing, yeah. I don't think I've seen class of 1984. Ah. Yeah, it's one I've only seen last year for the first time. <laughs> Just happened, well, one of those comedies that was re released and then. HD yeah. and then it turns out it's a Michael J. Fox film. Jeff Speaksman uh, Speakman never had the charisma. Yeah, he was too tough. It's like Van Damme has the char had charisma. He yeah, that's the thing with Van Damme though, was as as he, he wasn't great at acting. Like he, he wasn't in his earlier <laughs> I'm not saying he was later on, but he, he did improve in his performances as films went on. You can't deny it. Okay. Tonight's you know, guest has just joined us. <laughs> he always had, like, he always had something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. even, he, he just had it. He had something. It. It, yeah. You know, I always enjoyed watching this interview, even though you knew he wasn't the fucking best actor in the world. It didn't matter. Ah. That makes more sense. It's not Roy Chubby Brown's UFO. We're talking about Van Damme. <laughs> what fuck did he so we can go back. We'll go back in a minute. Um, it's 2012. Yeah, this uh, now that makes more sense. I did see that, but I don't. Uh, it's called Alien Uprising. Right. Um, it's also called UFO. The original title was UFO, but it's um piss poor film. Right. So basically, watch the uh, Roy Chubby Brown one instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's one of those that, yeah, Bridget Van, his daughter's in it. Ugh. I think I read somewhere he's not in it that much. Right. If at all. <laughs> he might just have his name on it. Right, where are we? John P. Ryan and Patrick, Patrick Gilpatrick, of course, is the other robot. Of course he is. That's it. Cheers, Austin. Thank you. Thank you. I, can't, I, couldn't, I couldn't think of the names. Like oh, Sean, true movie fan is back. Hi, guys. Hello, Sean. Another Sean. I got a lot of Sean's. Uh, why does Van Damme? He drinks a glass, breaks it, and yeah. then throws it away. Yeah, if he did that. He wouldn't be doing any fighting. Oh, fuck it. That's such a cool shot, though. <laughs> it is. There's a oh, lot of slow mo in this film, but it, instead of being slowed down in editing, it was actually filmed yeah. in slow motion. That helps. Oh, was it? Mm. That's why it's not so juddery because they didn't have the technology back then or digital stuff. I love that shot though. He takes a drink, smashes a glass, and then just gets the two bottles. <laughs> smashes that. <laughs> oh, cool, man. It's pure oh. fun. You know? Ah, yes, the substitute. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's um, a series of oh. films called The Substitute, isn't it? And that's what confuses me again. Oh, The Substitute. Yeah. Yeah, Tom Bevinger, isn't it? Yeah, and then I think Treat Williams is in one of the sequels. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen the uh, sequel to um, Nineteen Ninety. I don't think I have. I don't no. think it's... It might have been on Blu-ray now. I don't think it was when I watched the Class of Night Nine originally. Yeah. Double Impact, one of my favourites. See, everyone says that. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, Austin. I saw Deep Rising on VHS. Yeah, that's when it, one of those big films. It's like... Uh, I was just kind of thinking about it the other day, that films... Don't have that resurgence like they used to on VHS. Yeah. 
where they get big on rentals or bar, bought because they don't find their feet on streaming as much. No. They just disappear. <laughs> then we get the uh, female security guard being a bit rough. Yeah. <laughs> Without searching. I'll tell you what, I'd love to be sick like that. Ah, whoa. Okay. Oh, no, that's all right. If she's doing it to you, that's all right. Ex yes, see? But if you're like, enjoying it, maybe it's not all right. <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoy all the small things. <laughs> um, I need to get the MVD Blu ray of Double Impact. How many different versions are there now? If 88, I guess 88 films, is that? UK only, or is that international? I'm trying to think now. Oh, yeah. It's just credited as Michael Fox in the class of 84. Right, okay. And then how does Chad know how to operate a boat, locate Hong Kong, then get on the building? <laughs> eh? Answer me that. He just thought because the script he says he can. <laughs> uh, yeah, and he is barely in class of '84. He has a few, but you could see it in that film how cool he was. Yeah. So we got to there, caught up. If you can do a watch party for Guest Hurts parody, so I can do one for UFO. It's a similar quality. <laughs> yes. See, right? We need to wear uh, uh, for this UFO watch party. With zombie reviews because I actually own it on DVD. <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> you racist. So, I'm good to go. <laughs> okay. With, oh, hang on. Wait there. I, oh. Trouble is, ton of, uh, I guess if I put Roy in, maybe. Just typing are. UFO VHS. Oh. There you go. So I'm, I'm not six saying pounds. I'm out. I think I'll I'm pay six pounds for that film. I'm not, <laughs> not saying I'm a fan. But I've got Roy Chubby Brown. Who ate all the pies? I've got Roy, I've got Roy Chubby Brown. Too fat to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> then we got Roy Chubby, then we got Roy Chubby Brown. Pussy and meatballs. There's four of the American. <laughs> I've got all the, actually. I got the VHS upstairs. And there's one. Roy Chubby Brown. The good, the bad, and the fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh dear! This Van Damme Roundhouse kick the aliens. Yes, I need. I haven't been able to track down that film because it's. I think it might be a, even a French mind. film. But... Yeah, I wouldn't mind Van Damme Roundhouse and kicking some aliens. <laughs> if you check out my top eighty favorite movies, I choose a lot of Van Damme films. Well, yes, everyone would. She's got some massive legs. This. Oh yeah. But she was supposed to have a much bigger fight in the end, but because uh, the budget ran out, they couldn't do such spectacular stuff. They were going yeah, to it's, on very, doing. it's very short, isn't it? Really? Yeah, she has a big fight, little fighting, and then gets kicked and killed quite easily. Yeah. Ah, right, here we go. So this bit, they're supposed to be in this behind the scenes of the bar, and they're supposed to kick the door to go out to the outside world, but. It obviously kicks out, and you see the the set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. So I'm going to look out for this. There it is. Yeah. So yeah, it cuts it outside, but <laughs> I see Van Damme punching a mobile phone brick. Hang on. So she's trying to open the door. Van Damme kicks it. Of course, the solution to most problems. Yeah, <laughs> you can see the. Fake walls on the other side. <laughs> oh, love Lionheart and Blood Spots. These, yeah. So the collaboration video will be out sometime when I get around to doing it. And then there's a few people who have done their top fives, and luckily they're all different. John P. Ryan was also in Delta Force Two, Death Wish Four, and the first two. It's Alive. Ah, there you go. Thank you, Austin. Had a big career. Oh, Al's here. <laughs> I did try to think of a way I could be on here twice, but I just got my lookalike instead. How you doing now, mate? You're right. 
I, Stace Keith spelt wrong. <laughs> Stacy Key. Yeah. He was. Yeah, no, I'm trying to put what's it? Stacy Keach. Yeah. In class. There we go. He was, mate. Yeah. Right, that's true. I do miss the days when films like Double Impact and your film would have been released in cinemas, even though I was only about nine or ten years old. Yeah. We're the same age, mate. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The UFO was released in cinemas. I do remember that. Yeah, which is odd. Yeah, there wouldn't be neither of these films to be done these days, would they? No. Well, no. UFO wouldn't have been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guy that gets hit by a car throws himself on it. Apparently, if you watch carefully. <laughs> uh, I forgot. Hello from Toronto, Canada. Canada. It's a bad night. Stacy and he's wearing that weird. <laughs> Hang on. Stacy and he's wearing that weird albino wig. What are we going to now? <laughs> <laughs> is that, oh, is that Stacy Keach? Uh, yes, it is. In class of 99, yeah. That's, that's yeah, true. That's what I think, yeah. I wish Van Damme's last movie, The Last Mercenary, would come out on physical media. Yeah, I guess it's the Netflix film, isn't it? Or made as a French, it's in French, I believe. Or well, I think I watched the dub version. Uh, but yeah, that's his, that's so far his last film, and that was three years ago now. Two, oh, two, okay. two years ago. Yeah, I haven't. God, man, I, I haven't watched like a, a new Van Damme movie for a while. When I say new, yeah. I mean. I'm talking like it's twenty years. Yeah, <laughs> kind of, I, I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember what probably kind of last new one I watched of his. Ah, it's been a while. Now you get this very weird scene where Chad's imagining what's happening. Yeah, it's or yeah. Does it happen? Which one is it? It doesn't. It doesn't happen. I just feel like it's kind of like a twin brother kind of thing. <laughs> I think he's thinking it, and obviously his brother can like pick up on it. Maybe I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's filmed as a dream sequence, isn't it? Yeah. So it doesn't. It doesn't happen. There we go. The official line is: "It didn't happen." <laughs> the official line. <laughs> GM put a standard Blu-ray of Double Impact years ago. Yeah, I guess. That's how they get you. They bring out a vanilla disc and then special edition after special edition after that. Yeah. I love I love Cyborg. I will I would just <laughs> I I shouldn't, but I do. There's some good scenes in there, isn't there? Like I just like getting the a little girl to hold them up with the oh, yeah, wire. Yeah, that's and brutal. then of course she can't hold them. <laughs> I just like I like I like the whole sequence where they're like they're running away from them and they've been on the ground and they come back up and I like the fact that they have like kind of Van Damme is like his character he's done some running he's absolutely knackered and he's fighting them all he's he's only got so much you know what I mean before what what I quite liked about Van Damme in his movies as well he was never you know he never had too much ego to like take a hiding in his movies yeah. If, if yeah, you know, like even Seagal would never get hit in one of his films. Exactly, he would <laughs> never touch Seagal. But whereas Van Damme would like, he would like in Death Warren, he gets levered throughout the whole movie, pretty <laughs> much. Like he gets battered, you know. So I, you know, I kind of like respect him a little bit for that. He kind of you rooted for his character a bit more because he was, you know, vulnerable. Like, yeah. you know, so it made sense. Whereas like if that was Steven Seagal and Death Warren. <laughs> no, no one would touch it because he's too tough. Exactly. Uh, was this a flop? I don't. This was. I don't think it did all right, didn't it? It did, it did very well on like the rental again, but in cinemas, I think this is cinema box office. Yeah, it must be cinemas. Yeah. I think uh, it, it did okay. That's yeah. Alien Uprising. I'm looking at. I was gonna say that's very really cheap. Um. Right. Double impact. It is. Do, 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 do. Fuck's sake. What is it? $15 million budget, $30 million worldwide. So, oh, we saw it. Oh, there you see it. Didn't have a chance to edit out. 
<laughs> but <laughs> they're too busy enjoying it's the view. Fine. It's, all right. <laughs> okay. it's only natural, Gareth. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh, he's getting pissed. Downing red label. Yeah. Neck in it. <laughs> Although, is it a knockoff one? Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at that bit right now. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's it's literally cool. a blue movie. Yeah. I'd be drinking that. Uh, looking honest. forward to the new Indiana Jones for, video. Ah, uh, film. Yeah, yeah you, should, yeah. you should do as well, to be fair. I, I am. I am. We'll see. I am curious. I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I, it's Indiana Jones at the end of the day. Yeah. So I'll keep this movie in that. He's uh, look in that movie is just unique, weird, and ridiculous indeed. Yeah, yeah. I think he has like a. I think his eyes are a different color as well. I think he has contacts in his eyes in that movie. I think they're like both like really. It's either silver or they're like really white. Yeah, he's in definitely going moment. all in on it, isn't he? Yeah, but I don't think he's a robot in the movie either. No, I think yeah. But he remember. looks more like a cyborg. Yeah, like he's a... the one that looks like a cyborg, and everyone else yeah. just looks. I guess that's what they were going for. Oh, yeah. Lost picks up Abby Chubby Brown. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I used to, but when we had HMV on the Isle of Man, I did every <laughs> year. But we don't have one anymore, so no, I, I haven't seen one in the wild for a very long time. Yeah, but he had one a year, like yeah, close he, was, yeah, he was close, since close the eighties. He had a. VHS or DVD release. Yeah, yeah. But that's a, another thing that's gone is the annual stand-up comedy videos in November. Yeah. And I remember, uni well, it is, actually. I'll tell you what. So it's uh, Universal used to do these for the UK. <laughs> yeah, Universal. Yeah. They did. Sorry, I was distracted. I was sweating into my eyes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so and Very small print. Very, very, very small print. <laughs> It did okay in theaters. Not a massive hit like T2, but most of its money on VHS cable, exactly. You can't, you can't compare it to what T2 did. That was just... That was a monster. I love movies on VHS, yes. Yeah. Good old 4x3 screen, mono sustain, stereo if you're lucky. No energy movie. Harrison has hung up his hat. Uh, never say never for him. Oh, no. I, I think this is... No. <laughs> <laughs> what I, from, 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 from what I've heard, oh, oh, this is you will never see Harrison Ford again as in Janet Jones. From and I've I've got that from a, a reliable <laughs> from him, from him. Uh, yeah, yeah. He went to Savage Zombie reviews. He went, listen, <laughs> eight years old, dickhead. I used to be playing on the Isle of Man. Dave I'm came to the rescue. This one, I ain't doing another. <laughs> you look how some board had a Scouse accent. I was going to say, he sounds very Scouse. He must put it on, hide it for the films so it doesn't sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, I think Universal Soldier was his first big cinema hit. That is what I think, too. Yeah. Yeah. I think it I think, yeah, I think. Definitely. Yeah, the muscular villain chick in this was kind of intimidating. I'll admit, <laughs> yeah, fucking go gorgeous though. <laughs> so you'll know her name then. No, no idea what her name is. Karina Everson. You'll remember her from stuff as Double Impact, Natural Born Killers, Ballistic, Lois and Clark: The New Adventures. All right, okay. A lot of TV stuff. The Adventures of Briscoe County Junior. Oh, <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Fran, uh, yeah, Time Cop was a big hit, but yeah, yeah, but well, that, that was that was a big box office hit as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the brothers are fighting. Yeah. Oh, gives him his face kick in the brother, face. Why? Because he looks like me. I'm gonna change that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. fuck up his face. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because it looks yeah. like. Yeah, I'm at that bit right now. It's so cool. <laughs> oh, it's a bit harsh, man. His own brother punches him in the nuts. 
<laughs> <laughs> They're rules. They are rules. But I actually think this fight scene is well done. Mm. You know. Yeah, it's well filmed, well edited. So it does look like the yeah, two Van Dams, even without yeah. camera it's tricks. Well it's well directed. Because even the guy you've got is, I think it's the character's Chad or whatever his name is. <laughs> even like standing doing the high kicks, it actually feels like that's Van Damme doing it because it's kind of like the same style. You yeah. Know? So you, you can buy it. <laughs> and uh, they're punching the crap out of each other. Franz would happily let Corey Everson take her mm. out with his legs. <laughs> yes, I agree. There's a part <laughs> in this movie at the end when she wraps herself around like Van Damme, like she's on the shoulders around his head. <laughs> Van Damme spins around to like face, obviously, you know. <laughs> Okay, Let's reshoot that again. But this is the hundredth time. Get it right. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, I would like to go that way as well. <laughs> this Al does make a point that this film does need more snake punching, like Hard Target. We did. Oh, that's one of the best scenes in Hard Target. <laughs> oh, yeah. he punches it and then slaps it as well. Then. And the head just. <laughs> So it does. It's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a missile that was in part of 1992, 1992, and he was in Kickboxer. Yeah. He's not the <laughs> Yeah. Kickboxer that's 2 was a big hit because everyone thought it was a sequel, proper sequel to Kickboxer. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. Fan, I think, if I remember for that movie, Van Damme's character gets killed by... He gets shot by Poe, doesn't yeah. he? There's yeah. a scene where a lookalike gets shot in the back of the head. That's right, yeah. About well, an hour in. Yeah. As a flashback. That's right. Because Tom Poe is in that as the bad guy, and then I think he comes back as the fourth in the fourth film. Of... I've never watched the uh, remake to Kickboxing either. Oh, it's pretty good. Batista in, or. Yeah, ba it... Dave Batista's in the sequel. Okay, all right. And then I can't remember. It's Tom Poe. Yeah, he's Tom Poe. Or is he in the first one? I get them confused. It's a fan damn that's doing the training. Yeah, he's the trainer in that, and then he's blind in the second one. Right, okay. Are, are, are you worth watching? Hmm. It's supposed to be a third, but it hasn't been made or signed off or anything, yeah. Right. Okay, I'll give it a whirl. Yes, why not? The Van Damme made Street Fighter the quest, and that was the beginning of the end. Oh, yeah, okay. well, he directed the quest, which was like a prequel to Blood Sport. The quest is for oh, it's all. It's got Roger Moore in it. Mm. <laughs> no, it's, it's still bad though. Yeah. Oh no, they're torturing Jeffrey Lewis. But yeah, Street Fighter did, and well, the cocaine he was on didn't help either. And then he was, I think he's been diagnosed with bipolar now, which makes sense. They always, yeah, affected him at the time. Uh, he's not really a good actor at all. Poor Satchel Mitchell. It's Alive. It's bleeding hilarious. I think, isn't there three of those films and a remake? Have you ever seen them? They're, the first one's a 70s horror about a ba baby, evil baby or mutant baby or something. No, no. No, do you know what happened? No. I think it's like Basket Case, so it's right up your alley. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, one and done with that, mate. One and done. <laughs> uh, I appreciate all of Van Damme's movies because he's very good and cool actor, plus he's such a nice guy, but in the 90s ones are much better in my personal opinion. Yeah, I'd agree with that. He does. Yeah. Even. Like I say, it, it yeah, it definitely improved as as it went yeah. on. Yeah, definitely. But I still am um, the charisma. Like, when did they? When did AWOL come out? Did that come out in the eighties or the nineties? Which one? AWOL, absent without leave. Or yeah, like, it's just about ninety. About nineteen ninety. Yeah. Yeah. That's still no, my that, favorite that movie. I I think that film is. It's, it was really yeah. I really do. <laughs> I, I love that movie. Oh, he's taking out guys. There's guys running at him with a machine gun shooting at him, and 
nothing's happening for a good 60 seconds. <laughs> and then you turns around and shoots him and then empties a clip into him. Just, yeah. just <laughs> Love it. Doesn't, re doesn't reload. And <laughs> yeah, amazing stuff. It's fantastic. Uh, Time Cup was his biggest hit. Yeah, Street Fighter, what, surprisingly, Street Fighter was quite popular. A lot of kiddies like that one. Who knows? Nothing like the game. I went to the uh, I went to the cinema to watch Street Fighter. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I still think I did. Oh yeah, he's taking two of them out. Elf. I like how he like, spins them around in the air, and you hear like his back or neck snapping as he's moving. You're like, there's nothing near it. <laughs> it's like nothing near his back or his neck, but you hear something snap. It's the force of Van Dam. It's the force of Van Dam. Yeah. Yeah. It, I'll, I'll like It Lives Again quite a bit. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this. It Lives, It Lives Again, and It Lives 3. No, I, I haven't seen any of that. I haven't seen them for a very long time. Oh, I, I, I One day someone will remake this and ruin it. When I watched this movie in 91, I wanted <laughs> Karina Evans to search me for contraband. Yeah, all the men are saying, oh, yeah, search me. And then the ladies are always saying, no, not the way she does it. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, just carry on searching me. <laughs> a big surprise, a huge surprise. Well, I would say an adequate surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Got any tissues, love? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stacey Keach. Yeah. God bless Stacey Keach. Yeah. Nah. He was also in uh, Escape from LA. Yes. Because, yeah, Lee, Lee Van Cleef was no longer around. I guess I spent a similar character. Yeah. Uh, he basically played the same character. Mate, the <laughs> <laughs> Sets him up. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a soft spot for Escape from LA though. I know, I know it's terrible, but I like it. The Quest is another one that seems to better to me now than at the time. Uh, I... <laughs> Where's the last time you saw it? <sighs> last time I saw it, I think its biggest issue is that the first half hour or forty-five minutes, nothing happens. It's because he's living in New York. He has no. to escape New York. He has to get to wherever, and then there's just not much happening. I think the big, the biggest issue the quest has is actually Van Damme directing it. Well, that doesn't. Yeah, it's one of those he was written, directed, starring in, yeah, producing, was, spread himself too thin. Yeah, I think that's the biggest problem. Same with that. Was it Eddie Murphy and Harlem Knights did the same thing. He directed that. Yes. He produced it. He wrote that. Yeah. He starred it, in it. You're it's taking too much on. I yeah. mean, you know, I mean, just just concentrate on your your character, your own performance, and just kind of stick to that because it could have been really it was it was interesting you know what what the premise of the yeah was. a prequel to the blood sport another one of the early kumites yeah, yeah i see that but yeah he just put his fingers in too many pies i think for that and just it it just didn't work <laughs> so you know, now we get the lethal weapon uh homage yeah Oh, here we go. Where's my? Where's your brother? Yeah. Maybe he's the one in a baseball cap and dark glasses behind you. Maybe. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what Van Damme actually did well in the quest, to be fair. He can direct action quite well. Yeah, I guess he does choreograph it and yeah. in all of his early films and he edited, what was it, Bloodsport to make it watchable and other <laughs> films. Yeah. And Hard Target, I think. Yeah. He, so he's uh, he's got an eye for for that kind of you know style. It's a good sequel, better than the third one. There you go. I don't think, yeah. It's definitely. Oh, he, Al's agreeing with someone. That's not like Al. Well, he never agrees with me. <laughs> it's a decent fighting movie. I have it on DVD. I'm talking about the quest with ah. Oh, yeah. Cyborg Two is just strange, but it does have a very young. Uh, and she's in so late. Yeah, yeah. But you don't recognize her because she looks very different compared to Tomb Raider, which is later in the nineties. 
Yeah. Well, God, yeah. Oh shit, I'm way behind. They come out in like 2000 or something. Yeah, I think it was definitely around that time. This is yeah. Nigel Griffith speaking. Good evening. Daniel, Matt. Daniel Craig's actually in that movie. <laughs> yes, he is as an American. Yeah. Oh, John P. Ryan was in Avenging Force. That's a good one. Yeah, Steve James was great. Unfortunately, no longer oh, with us. James, yeah. Love Steve 90s James. with Van Damme's Golden Age. Yeah, that is very yeah. true. The Sexy Dream Nightmare is an odd one. I remember him being drugged, and that's why he is thinking paranoid I'm thoughts. Sorry. But he only seems mildly drunk. Yeah, it's yeah. I tell you what, France, that actually makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The ending for Time Cop is amazing, apart from the CGI blob. What a fan! Of time <laughs> Cop, I know Time Cop gets a lot of love, but I just whoa, you gotta be nice. <laughs> I'm always nice. <laughs> Until it's time not to be nice. Until it's time not to be nice. Yeah. The sexy dream is pretty much just an excuse to show some tits and ass. Yeah, pretty much what action films need. The 80s and 90s, of course. Another reason I missed the 90s, yes. Yeah, exactly. 66 years and I missed the 70s. I so always going back further. <laughs> uh, I forgot he was in that. He did quite a few canon films. And consider, uh, considering buying the complete Roy Chubby Brown f collection on VHS, yeah, a lot of early ones didn't get yeah. released on DVD. Funny enough, very true. Like one of one of his fav one of his best ones. Well, I I think of his best ones is one <laughs> Saturday Night Beaver, which never <laughs> never got a DVD release ever. But it's one of his funniest stand up shows. <laughs> this day. and I think that came out in like ninety. 596. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah, I've got a few of them upstairs, but yeah, they're quite common in VHS collections. Yeah, they are. Admit. Okay. Knockoff was a big bomb, and as was Universal Soldier Return. Yes, they both did not do well. Yeah, Knockoff was. <laughs> one with Dave Rob Schneider in as well, wasn't it? <laughs> Another people kept putting him in as the psychic for some fucking reason. Yeah, so yeah, if it didn't work in fucking Judge Dredd, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bob went to see Chubby Brown in Blackpool. There you go, 92. And back, he's banned by the Wokes, yeah. That's true, man. Yeah, see I you. watched Blackpool in 98, was when I watched them there. Then yeah. he used to come over to the Isle of Man quite a lot every summer. So I used to watch him there as well. I've got this nice bit with shadows now. Yeah. Except he's flexing very hard. <laughs> oh, he's got spurs on, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, the That's one cool. in the, the one in the shadows, man, is freaking I, I love the way this is shot. Yeah. yeah. Just running away into the shadows. Yeah. Yeah, I can't have free speech anymore. There you go. Quick cut, guys. I only always love doing. I guess the movie. Van Damme says hunting season is over. I know that one because it came up a lot the other night. <laughs> Do you know it? What's this one? Quick cut. says hunting season is over. Well, that's pretty hard target, isn't it? <laughs> it's one we know. <laughs> target top tier. Van Damme, yes, it was. That's a good one as well. Ha! <laughs> Get on with the fighting. Death Warrant is a fun prison movie, yes. It is. I love Death Warrant. He never quite topped Hard Target, well. No, I well, a mullet. I don't know. That's Watch out for the obviously rubber barrels. <laughs> when... Yeah. When... Yeah, it bends. It, it does, yes. <laughs> well, it's good that he... Van Damme tries to kick it. And it hurts him. Oh, he's lost his gun. I've seen Austin. I've seen that. I didn't know that was a thing, but I've seen his play. It it looks awful. Yeah, he's got some very heavy makeup on to make him look Asian. It's terrible. <laughs> it's <laughs> obviously they, they could have gone lighter and still called him Tongpo. But I think I watched the clip on YouTube of that. <laughs> just looking at it, and I'm like, oh my god, no, he did what? Just cast him as someone else, you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm sorry I can't watch Hard Target too much slow parent, uh, too much slow motion for no apparent reason. There is a lot of that. I can that see was, that. that was John Woo style, wasn't it? Yeah, John Woo liked a lot of that. He liked doves and slow motion. 
John Wick. I miss Blackpool Rock. Uh, doesn't taste the same now. Even the rock here is just chewy. Oh my God, I haven't had rock for a long time. There used exactly. to be like, there used to be Alaman rock, but uh, <laughs> there isn't anymore. It doesn't exist. I don't know what. But, oh, tops are coming off. Yeah. Try and get past him now. Yeah. I like the quest. Decent watch. Yeah, it's not terrible. <laughs> yeah, what the hell does that mean? Yeah, I have no idea. The quest disappointed me at the time because it was rated 18 over here, but it was PG in the States. Was it? Doesn't get graphic. No, oh, I'm going to hear. Uh, I think it's just because it was a fight. If it might have had a headbutt in it or something stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we're talking back in the day in the UK where you couldn't even have fucking nunchucks in a movie. That's all yeah. it was. Yeah. What 13 year old didn't want to see John Claude and old Rog <laughs> in a full blooded action flick? Flick, yeah. It's not what you got. Yeah. I used to go to Black Bull as a kid. Great times. All the arcades, the pleasure beach, cannon and ball. <laughs> Chubby Brown. Cannonball, yes. Cannonball. <clears throat> Hard to believe they were prime time TV in the set in the eighties. <laughs> Little and large. Yeah, they were on BBC One. <laughs> Cannonball on yeah. Which one are you going to watch? Hail, hail and make peace for my face. No, no, that wasn't fucking hail and make peace for hail and peace. Well, them to make peace. peace. Which one <laughs> Both are good. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> hail and make peace. Oh, A Wall is perfect, unlike its butchered releases outside the UK. Ah. Mm. Okay, yeah, for, oh, I love A Wall. It's fucking great. Oh, is. <laughs> Come on, Bob, we'll fight back. I love this bit in the fight with him. We just taps him on the shoulder at the back and he just turns around and just goes, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so, what, how many films have someone been kicked into an uncovered electrical <laughs> box? Van Damme just round up kicks him all the time. It's like there's no attempt to even block his kick or move or do anything. No. Just take and it. And then there's an explosion when he jumps. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. I would love to have seen a, a you know, a, Obviously, when Bruce Lee was still alive, I'd love to have yeah. seen a fight scene with Bruce Lee and your and your man here. Yeah. Like I think one thing and Enter the Dragon, it's probably what it missed. Instead of John Saxon going up, <laughs> yeah, see Bruce Lee actually do it instead. <laughs> yeah. But I guess it, uh, was it Commando when the bad guy gets kicked against electricals, it supercharges him to get back in the fight. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because <laughs> of his chainmail. Stick oh, around and it's headbutt. Yeah, there's a lot of headbutts. I haven't been noticing if they've been cut out of the VHS. Oh no, there's a lot of headbutts. Oh, there she goes. She's wrapped around his neck in this one. There she is. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> so he's got to fight. Yeah, I'll just turn around because that'll be easier. Right. While you're enjoying that, mate, I'm going to go for a quick pee. It's 10 minutes to the end. Ah. Oh, I nearly did it, but I've got to go. <laughs> Get one of those nappies. Uh, anyone see? Uh, yes, I have seen Street Fighter Legend of Chun Li, but only once because it wasn't good. Those kiddies who love Street Fighter are now 40. Yeah, exactly. I know that some people give hate for Street Fighter, I believe it's awesome, though, although there's not much fight scenes in it like the game. Yes, it is. That is true, although we are doing a watch by there sometime this month. What am I doing there? Do, 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 do. A week, no, two weeks, Sunday. Pro Physical Media, MVD released the extended cut of Lionel Hombre. Oh, good. You got to see it in all its glory. There he is. Well, Street Fighter was popular because of Kylie, not Van Damme. Yes. I will I think go, that is more true. I will go one stream, Gareth, with stay, in, stay until the end. <laughs> of the I if I go. can do it, you can do it. The Quest, my number one. Best Van Damme movie ever made. Really? <laughs> I would, it was, okay. It's a good. It's well made, isn't it? Okay. Escape from LA. I used to think it was pants, but really enjoyed it when I saw it again recently. Sacrilege alert in some areas. I think it's better than New York. Ooh. Oh, I think man. I had. A, yeah, Listen, I watched it. I, yeah. Look, it, it it is enjoyable. It, it, <laughs> it is. It just is. Better than in some areas, better than New York. Oh, 
Yeah, which um, win? That's it. I guess the basketball game is better than the box, the fighting. And what's really cool with that is Kate Russell actually hits that shot. That's not fake. <laughs> no, <laughs> it says it'll always go down as fake. Yeah, that's what kickboxer is my favorite. Yeah, it's hard to choose. There's so yeah. many. My, mine's a wall, and I would say Death Warren. It, well, I did it. I give you a top 10. I think Death, I'll put Death Warren second. I think. <laughs> you know. See, there's um, Escape from LA. CJ is awful, but I would watch anything with Russell. Yeah, he's sadly yeah. missed as well now, even though he's doing Christmas films. Yeah. Tomb Raider was 20, 2001. Bloody hell. Yeah, I knew it was around then. The only one who can direct and star in his own films is Clint Eastwood, yes. Yeah. Agreed. He's uh, been doing that for a while now. Hasn't he? Clint is a legend, <laughs> that is true. Do you like Raw Deal with Arnold? I thought it was good. Yeah, I do. I used to not like it when it came out because it wasn't like Commando, but... <laughs> if you hit... uh, Raw Simply. Deal is uh, fairly underrated. Yeah. I, I, I think. That's, yeah, uh, one of his 80s films that's never really mentioned. Uh, it's not one of his that I'll... Um, I'll watch a lot of, even still. Yeah. You know, there's, there's other only yeah. films that I would rather put on, but it's it's actually decent. <laughs> yeah, it is. I was surprised the last time I watched it, how yeah. enjoyable it was. It is great. Val likes it. Yeah. Straw Dogs. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen Straw Dogs. I know it. it's a 70s problematic I'm film. Yeah, I'm the same. I, I know it's probably will probably get a bit of I shit. I haven't seen the remake it. either. I haven't with, seen uh, Psychops. <laughs> yeah. I haven't either. Uh, I like the film, but it did get a raw deal. <laughs> no one gives yeah. Arnie a raw deal. No one. Uh, CGI in Escape from LA was always bad, but I think the concepts in that movie have aged surprisingly well. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. I, yeah, I couldn't disagree with you on that one, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Double Team and Knock Off, also great. Oh my God, Sean! <laughs> Listen, you're trolling me now, aren't you? You're trolling me. I'm, being... <laughs> I'm glad uh, you and this didn't want to do a nude scene, apparently. But they said if you don't, then off you pop. Well, pretty much, yeah. That's how it was. So you can have your, and that's how it still should be. <laughs> Let's just watch a live count of your subscribers now. <laughs> Why's my phone pinging a lot? Hang on. <laughs> no, and we get the uh, Lethal Weapon 2 homage. Now, how does he get past him in this? Where are we up to? We? I've still got fun. I'm climbing up. <laughs> <laughs> this one's he's about to get. Squished by a oh, she's a thin enough for a gap, yes. Yeah, seven else oh, okay. so yeah. Well, that was how it was in the 80s, 90s, wasn't it? If you don't want to do the nude scene, you can off you go. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot about this scene. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to get out of this. I've forgotten, I know he disappears and then just suddenly reappears behind. <laughs> Have a look. <laughs> ah, Replica was supposed to be theatrical in America, but they decided to dump it on DVD. That's where D is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. Replica. Because it's a very serious film. No, I should say it's played straight more than serious. It's not very. I was still, I will not have a bad word said about knock off. I bloody love it. Come on, you Spurs. Ooh, no, don't no, alienate that. Val, he sent me a lot of nice tapes. <laughs> Finder was the most scary villain. Finder. In the Van Damme movie. Hang on. In which one? Finder? Who was Finder? Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying I'll to think now. I will tell you the scariest villain in the Van Damme movie is, is uh, the Sandman and Death Warrant. Yeah, that's what I was always... I always think of the Sandman. He's barely in the film, but he's made... Yeah. He's creepy. What, what makes no sense in that movie as well is, like, he <laughs> is... Dead at the beginning of that film, like so. How does he? <laughs> He's dead, isn't he? Come on. Uh, there's rumors of a new Terminator film, is there? Oh dear. Oh god, fucking. Let it go. Just try to reboot yeah. it. What three times down? Oh, just just leave it alone now. 
I wish they made Double Impact 2. They were supposed to. There were talks about it around Expendables 2 time, but nothing came of it. The thing is, man, they could actually they could do it now. Still. I'd watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Would you, though? I think, yeah, Double Team was a big bomb. I remember that. He had too many bombs in the late 90s. Yeah. Double Team. That's uh, that's the, got, got the one with uh, Mickey Rourke in, hasn't Mickey it? Mickey Rourke, Dennis Rodman. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that way. Now that is a film that sucked then and still sucks. Yeah, he fights <laughs> lions and or is it no, it fights tigers in the Colosseum with that minefield and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah uh, that, Broken yeah. Arrow had a lot of stuff cut out as well. Yes, I did hear that. And it's I don't know why, it's not that violent. The ending with the big explosion and they're dodging it with a soda pop machine, yeah. So there's a lot of advertising in double team. Yeah. Showdown Little Tokyo, yeah, that's a great one, but it's only 80 minutes. It's it's a I I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Death Warrant, I love that one, but it's amazing how many times Van Damme shot the guy who calls himself the Sandman five times. Yeah, he still fights him again. Exactly my point, Sean. No, you're all wrong. Yes. <laughs> no, well, Bolo is cracking on a bit. He's older than Van Damme by a good 10, 15 years. My favorite Van Damme film next, Universal Soldier, Hard Target. There you go. See, yeah, that's yeah, a two good one. I really like Hard Target. Hard Target, top five. Yeah. Oh, it's not, yeah, the film is not long enough. Showdown Little Tokyo, yeah. yeah. They could have had another couple of scenes in that. Well, I, I, I don't know. I know it's no. only short, but it's it's a nice little, you know. Oh, get ready to sing. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't think the lyrics are on the screen. No, I don't think they are, no. I don't think my subtitles are going to have them. But then we get the freeze frame. I keep thinking of Never Surrender, but it's not. Uh, Christ, Little Lars never made me laugh. I used to love Hail and Pace, though. Great Sunday night entertainment before going to bed. School in the morning, yes. 10 p.m. on a Sunday night on ITV. Hail and Pace or Spitting Image. Yeah. Hail and Pace were great. Yeah. And there's a 1939 site movie called The Terminator about robots. Ah. Right. Now I've got no subtitles. <laughs> to the club. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's a shame, huh? No subtitles. Hang on. Oh, don't even know what I hold inside. Ugh. That's why I'm going to make yeah, you, you feel you the got lyrics. You got lyrics. Yeah. Bodyguard with Spurs. Another Spurs supporter there. Look at that. Feel the impact. Ugh. I feel the impact Ugh. of my soul. I'm only <laughs> reading like, what's coming up. You read it. Yeah, go for it. Because I haven't got any lyrics now. Feel the impact. Feel, feel, feel the impact. The impact. The impact. The impact. The impact. The impact. <laughs> I miss uh, that he goes for a pijo in the legs. <laughs> for all my life, I'm going to take everything that I've got in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny there's people working outside after all those gunfights and explosions. Yeah. No, one, no police in this film at all, I don't think, is there? Yeah, short exist. because of kind of cut a bunch of scenes out. Oh, that's nice. I hope the new Cynthia Rothart film gets made soon. Some great actors are back in front of from the back, yeah, from back in the day. Yes, because yeah, she's filming not Black Creek's not ready, so they're doing the last Kumite now in around yeah. Europe. Yeah, so yeah Cynthia Rothart, Kurt McKinney, Tom Poe himself. That's uh, cool. Billy Blanks, I think, is there as well. I've been seeing on social media. Oh, Billy Blanks used to scare me as a kid in that movie. He is. <laughs> Terrifying. Tybo workouts. I did try them once, but I didn't get very far. <laughs> Must pop upstairs and have a good hard think about that. <laughs> yes, that's Dave when the leg scene came on. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, Jess Speakman was jealous of Van Damme so much and hated to go. Oh, that's a shame. Everyone hated to go. I can't. I can see how they are filming it now. I, th I think hopefully it's good. Yeah, hopefully it's good. 
Hopefully, yeah. I've Raw Deal on DVD. I think I got it on DVD. I got it. I think, I think us as fans, we will we'll find some enjoyment in it, I'm sure. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know if it's yeah. going to be streaming anywhere. To check it out. Absent without leave, Bloodsport and the Quest. All these movies, in my opinion, <laughs> deserve two Oscars each. There you go. Oh, Sean. Come John on. Carpenter loved LA better than New York. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Raw Deal is another one that looked better through modern as though that as through modern eyes. It is yeah. true, actually. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. The nurse um, Milo, yeah. apparently, in this. Kato was Stephen Wong in Hong Kong. Tong Bo Ming was the loader. The nurse Flavia. Is... <laughs> Hang on, what song are we? We're still going. The impact. The just moment. Feel. Oh, no, I lost it. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. <coughs> bro. Um, did he really? <laughs> hey, Ben, how are you? So, yes, even a mate to advertise. You're right. We are discussing Baywatch on duh, 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 Monday night. Sweet, nice. <laughs> I'll tune into that one. <laughs> Oh, the original Straw Dogs is uh, Masterpiece, the remake, and go to fuck. <laughs> That's language. <laughs> it would have been cool if Van Damme joined with Michael Dudikoff in the Imag uh, American Ninja movies, yeah. Well, Van Damme was too busy trying to be the Predator during the 80s. So. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't always be my Predator. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Still hard to believe that he even was. Yeah, when you see it run and his head yeah. bobbling, and you think, yeah, that's, that's why. <laughs> anyway, feel the impact. Written, produced, and performed by Jen. In fact, who did all the music in this? Songs, yeah. I should say, not music. Uh, right, let's crack on. Is? Need to get to bed. Feel the impact. Yeah. <laughs> Red Heat and Road The Running Man are pretty fun, pretty underrated. Yeah, that's. Three that you don't get mentioned as much as Terminator, Commando, and all that. Yeah. Steven Seagal actually liked Jess Speakman, which is unusual for him. He doesn't think much of Van Damme, though, yeah. I don't think Seagal likes anyone, does he? Apart from Jess Speakman. End of Days is my fave. I, yeah, that's one I got from Val. Thank you, Val. I really like Lots of nudity in action films in the 90s. It's cool. We don't get that anymore. Sad, yeah. I guess they say if you want nudity, you just got the internet now, haven't you? <laughs> Pretty much, mate, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't like us back in the day when we uh, had to watch uh, base, Basic Instinct and just fast forward to the uh, sexy parts. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're on about. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <Not lying. laughs> the TV edit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Is this a rental copy? It looks well worn. It is not a rental copy. Hang on, because I've got yeah. It is well worn though, even the case because I got this one. Yeah. And then the budget release. That's what the difference. <laughs> oh, the, the Columbia yeah. pictures things that yeah. The Columbia yeah. logo is different. Yeah, cinema 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 cinema. yeah. But yeah. Four ninety nine. This would have cost you, or three for twelve back in the day. Worth it. Yeah, there was a lot of jumping in that bit. The old Highlander two freeze frame. Ugh. Van Damme shot Sandman six times and keeps yeah. him in the fire. And he's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> and this into prison near the end, like nothing. Love Bruce Lee fighting Chuck Norris and Game of Death. Yeah, that was a well match there. It was way Very good. Cool to VHS, love it. Yeah, well loved this one. Well watched. Yeah, as you can hear from it, rewinding. I guess. Well, you can't. Well, you, well, you can't. Sat. Say the double team and knockoff are not good because great stories, good stories, great action. Remember those. Yeah, compared to I think now, they <laughs> they stand out quite well. Sean, but I can't say double team and knockoff are not good because they're not good stories. And they Whoa. Uh, <laughs> double team does rip off the prisoner from the sixties. Yeah, Van Damme and Brandon Lee, that would have been a good team up. Yeah. Oh, Way of the yes. Dragon. Yeah, see, I don't know which. which. Way the Dragon. Yeah, not Game of Death, of course. Yeah, Game of Death was after. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, all right, next time. See you next time, Sean. 
Bye. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Yeah. Brandon Lee had some great films. Yeah, I do love Rapid Fire. Yeah, there was there were, these end credits were at least eight minutes, which is probably the longest part of the film. <laughs> Rapid Fire is great. Yeah, there we go. Great no fairness, it's a pretty cool track. <laughs> For a rap rock song of the 1991 it is, yeah. I've always got Straw Dogs on original on DVD. I don't know I've seen either version anywhere. I haven't. No. No. Yeah, China O'Brien, Martial Law 1 and 2, yeah. That's how yeah. most of us in the West know her. Yeah, China O'Brien 1 and 2. Yeah. Van Damme was too short to be the Predator. <laughs> That's why he had an extension. Why he was like, <laughs> <laughs> then got, what was his name? Kev, uh, Kevin Peter Hall. I want to say yeah. his name. Then he got with, which was perfect, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Arsenal fan has subbed you now. So oh, you'll cheers, apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Arsenal. George Newton. Yeah. Arsenal, Arsenal officially my second favorite team now. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Susan George. I saw someone. Did a video on Venom, um, real classic movies that she's in with Klaus Kinski and um, Oliver Reed. Oh, right, okay. Breaker, Breaker, Chuck Norris during those CB days. I love C CB. She does. Yeah, she does. Yes, time to go to bed. It's Friday night. It is. Good watch, lads. Take care. Thank you, Bal. Thanks for joining us. Thank Thanks, much. Bob McCall. Thanks, Franz, for joining us. Thank you. We're doing Smut Night. 7.30 on Sunday. Smart talk, sorry. Talking about 80s sex comedies with lots of nudity. My will. Mind. I will All hail Van Damme night. Night all. Oh, sorry. Yeah, bye. All hail Van Damme night all. Take care, Nos. Thanks for joining. Hello, Gregor. Just right before we're finishing. Yeah. Yes, Kevin Peter Hall was the best predator. Predator 1 and 2, isn't he? Um, I don't know. Is he in 2? I'm not too I sure. I think he's in 2. Is he? Okay. I, I would, yeah. It would make sense. That, yeah, and then I think that was it. Hey, Austin, bye bye. Right. I suppose it's thanks for Dave for turning up, making exactly. an effort. <laughs> He's getting. Uh, oh, how many, you know, how many nominations are you up for now? Um, well, shit, yeah. <laughs> um, Reviewer of the month. Reviewer of the month, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. it. I thought there was others. No, I'm, I'm, I'll have to get myself another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, I've got that one. So yeah, it was pretty cool. That that was nice. Um, I, I don't know whether I'm going to win it though. I, oh, how modest! No, but I just yeah, I look at the other because when I get like uh, nominated for these things, like I kind of have a little nose of the other channels that I'm not really aware of, and I watch theirs, and I'm always always like, fuck me, they're so much better. <laughs> <It doesn't, laughs> It does my own thing. More yeah, it's just like there's more <laughs> care, there's more thought, there's more everything put into it. Whereas I, I look at mine and like mine is still all done on an iPhone six. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> don't, no fucking... don't spoil no, it. No, it's not. It's true though. I just do it on a whim and then just forget yeah, that looks all right. <laughs> fucking post it. Well, there, it's please. it's you that makes the difference. Oh, yeah. come on. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. Uh, that one. <laughs> well, yeah. So if you're looking for quality, don't come to my channel. <laughs> right, Porky's Forever. Yes, three Porky's films to discuss and a lot more. Yes. Screwballs and everything. He was in Predator 2. See, was, I'm right. You're wrong. Never said that he wasn't. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Take care, Russell. See you, folks. <laughs> well, see, that's even more embarrassing than you didn't know. Right, I didn't let's know. end this. I know. Some of us have got fed. It always happens. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.